In this video I'm going to show you how to configure Studio One and Notion to do rewire. The first thing I did was to start Studio One Professional Version 4 and create an empty song. I added a monaural track for the voiceover. Next I started Notion and I have a score already done in Notion and it has notes. These are native Notion instruments. Over in the Notion mixer the output of the instruments is set to just output. On the master stereo track I've got it set to channel 1-2. That's the default value and what this means is that the instruments are all going to send their audio to the master stereo output track and the master stereo output track sends the mixed audio through rewire channels 1-2. Now in Notion preferences it's important that you have enable rewire checked and on the Mac I also check allow network discovery. At this point Notion knows that it's in a rewire session and you can tell that by this icon right here but Studio One and Notion aren't really talking to each other completely and so what you have to do is you go over into uh, you, you click on the browser, you show the browser, you select instruments, and then you'll see that there's a rewire folder. And in this rewire folder you'll find a Notion object. And so you drag that Notion object over to the track lane. And that establishes the connection for rewire. By default it's going to be receiving audio in channels 1-2 and so you don't really have to do anything other than that. This gets you an instrument track and what I like to do is uh, I make it blue and then I'll change the name to Notion. The voiceover, I'll make it uh, yellow and I'll change its name to voiceover. Now you notice that this track is an instrument track and so it has the instrument track icon. This is an audio track and it has the wavy audio track icon. Now at this point uh, you'll be able to hear the audio sent from Notion but you can't record it because what you record on an instrument track is MIDI and we're not sending MIDI from Notion in this example and so what you need to do is you need to go up and you need to create uh, a stereo audio track. Now we've got a stereo audio track and I'm going to move it over to the right. So this is a Notion instrument track and this is an audio track that we're going to use to record the audio coming from Notion. Notion sends it to the instrument track and then we're going to send it from the instrument track over to this audio track. And the way we do that is we click up here on this input and we scroll down to instruments and we find Notion and then we click on that. And we're also going to click on this uh, monitor button because we want to hear it. Now these track lanes are kind of large and if you look right here there's a, 
uh, it says large and uh, you have different options and so I'm gonna say normal and now they're all normal size so what we have is the notion instrument track we have the audio track and and I'm gonna rename it to notion audio and I'm gonna just set the monitor because I'm not recording it right now when I click on play everything will start working If you want to moot the audio so that you don't hear it, then uh, the key to that is that even though this Notion instrument track doesn't record audio, it's going to play audio. So there'll be audible audio coming into this Notion track. This track, which is a audio track, you've got it monitoring the source and the source is what comes from the instrument track and so you're gonna hear it over here too so you'll hear it two times and if you want to mute it you have to mute the instrument track Okay, the instrument track is muted, now you don't hear it. You can see that over here on the audio track, I took it off of monitoring the input source and also muted it, but you still hear the audio. And the reason is because you're hearing the audio that's coming into the instrument track. Uh, this can be, I suppose, confusing, but um, there's some logic to it. Because once you record the audio onto the audio track, then when you don't monitor it, you'll be hearing the audio that you recorded onto the audio track and then everything works a little bit differently but you still need to mute the instrument track because at that point you've got audio recorded on the audio track and that's what you want to hear so let's do that gonna rewind it gonna unmute it I want to hear the audio coming in and I'm going to configure it for recording and now I'm going to record it and so up here you'll see audio Okay, now I've got recorded audio, and I don't really need uh, to hear what's coming in from Notion, so I'm going to mute the Notion instrument track. I'm going to unclick the record and also the input monitoring, and now I should hear just, uh, let's see, when I rewind now I should just hear the recorded audio and 
And if I want to then mute the recorded audio, I'll just click this mute button. And all I'll hear is the voiceover. Now let's say that uh, I want to change some of the notes and I want to re-record it. Well, I, I can uh, delete the already recorded information. Uh, I can unmute the instrument track. I can set this up to record and monitor what's coming in. And, I, and then I can go down here in Notion and change some notes and uh, uh, just record it again. And I'm going to click on this and I'm going to press the delete button and now that's gone. And then let's say that I change some notes and then I, I can just record it again. And so that's the way the mute buttons work and it's kind of confusing but it's not that confusing and so that's really about all there is to it okay thanks